Can Blake Snell get us that Game 5 win and give us the advantage of the ALCS heading back to Kansas City for Game 6? Let's find out right now. And one change we're going to have is Harrison Baker will start in center. Please have making his first start of this postseason is 11-14 in the regular campaign. Whip to right, and that's off the wall and right. Stolen base for Bobby at third. And on second, one down. Bobby scores, it's one to nothing. There's a drive. Right field, this one's gone, two nothing. Juan Soto is seven for the postseason. It's two nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, shook to the baseball, squared it up, and the batsman carried it out of here. Two down. Number two. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Here's Jake Fraley. For a power showcase today, with the wind blowing out, a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Base hit. In this era, definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that you get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent ball. This one in the air. Davis. And we go to the bottom of the first inning. Blake Snell on the mound for the Royals. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So One away. He to utilize those weapons through this start here. And whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to pull something back a little bit later, maybe second to through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. Foul ball. And that's just foul. Center field. Bam. And we go to the second. Running catch. Back here at Angel Stadium, stepping in the long ball threat, Patrick Wisdom. So now one and two. Let's talk about great individual postseasons. seasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in 1989. He hit 441 with three homers and 11 stolen bases, leading Oakland to a World Series championship. Yeah. And one, one down. Next is the Royals catcher, Freddie Fermin. Fly ball to right. Settles under this one. Two away. Man, when I think about great postseason performances, on the top, Carlos Beltran in 2004. Eight homers and six steals in 12 games to the Houston. That one ripped. That one ripped. That one ripped. go to the bottom of the second inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the Angels. Torres will lead off. Torres. I wouldn't get too pumped up about that postseason extra base hit thing, Siggy. Time leader with four is Ken Holtzman. Pitcher. One of his hits was a homer. Yeah, but I'm sure he was a position player, though, before he started pitching. 
Torres. Fly ball, left field, this one's gone. Angels on the board here in the bottom of the second inning. It's 2-1. Well, there goes the shutout, just like that. They're still behind, but this is a start. In the air. One down. So, what's it away? And there's one away. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Luis Rangipo. Ground ball, Alonso. And he takes it himself for the out. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. it off still one and two two outs and they'll do it again and now the lefty face it
pitch. In the air, right field, moving back for this one. And that is that. Bottom four, balance the power speed combo. Mike Trout. Chase through that one for strike two. Torres to the plate and diving stop two away. And we'll head to the fifth. Down ball. And we go to the six. Sliding stop and short one away. Bottom of the 
six. And now the first baseman, Nolan Shotwell. Next offering is in for a strike. Walker started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing lanes is very difficult. This is for a left-handed hitter to track. And he deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Left field, one down. Bring up Taylor Ward. Way here's Bader. Sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You look for those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Two down, nobody on. I want out to right. Lonia sizes this one up. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Torres leading off from the bottom of the inning. Base it. Trout settles under it. 
One down. Feathers one away. And next up for the Royals, Garrett Hampson. One down, base is empty. Base it. Chopper, they're short. Two down. I'll bring up Alonzo. Pete Alonzo steps in for the Royals. Right hander kicks deals. Calls it for the trout and one scores. Four to two now for the Royals. Here's Jake Freely. Base hit, Alonzo up to second. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Jimmy Hergen. There comes Jimmy Hergen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now Scott Jensen on the ground first. He handles it at second. Oh, go to the bottom lead. One pitched in. Fair ball, and Moniac is going to be safe. No play, that's an infield single. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. There's no one shining well. There's one, and there's two. Outside, 
And that's going to be up against the wall. Throw to the plate will not be in time. And it's 5-2 in favor of Kansas City. RBI double for Bobby. That base hit for Hampson. And Bobby Witt will score 6-2. chance to end this series in the next episode. So come on back then and find out what happens.